A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. Be alone, that is the secret of invention, be alone, that is when ideas are born. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. One has to be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Even matter called inorganic, believed to be dead, responds to irritants and gives unmistakable evidence of a living principle within. Everything that exists, organic or inorganic, animated or inert, is susceptible to stimulus from the outside. Genius is its own passport, and has always been ready to change habitats until the natural one is found. I am credited with being one of the hardest workers and perhaps I am, if thought is the equivalent of labor, for I have devoted to it almost all of my waking hours. I am unwilling to accord to some small-minded and jealous individuals the satisfaction of having thwarted my efforts. These men are to me nothing more than microbes of a nasty disease. I counted the steps in my walks and calculated the cubical contents of soup plates, coffee cups and pieces of food otherwise my meal was unenjoyable. I do not think you can name any great inventions that have been made by married men. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. My brain is only a receiver, in the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. Of all things, I liked books best. One may feel a sudden wave of sadness and rake his brain for an explanation when he might have noticed that it was caused by a cloud cutting off the rays of the sun. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. One's salvation could only be brought about through his own efforts. Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone that is the secret of invention. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment and merging of races, and we are still far from this blissful realization, as the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The hard work of the future will be pushing buttons. The idea of atomic energy is illusionary but it has taken so powerful a hold on the minds, that although I have preached against it for 25 years, there are still some who believe it to be realizable. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, 
but man remains. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. The scientists from Franklin to Morse were clear thinkers and did not produce erroneous theories. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. To know each other we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. We are all one. Only egos, beliefs, and fears separate us. We crave for new sensations but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. When natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. All peoples everywhere should have free energy sources. Electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities and can drive the world's machinery without the need for coal, oil or gas. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. Archimedes was my ideal. I admired the works of artists, but to my mind, they were only shadows and semblances. The inventor, I thought, gives to the world creations which are palpable, which live and work. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. Nikola Tesla As in nature, all is ebb and tide, all is wave motion, so it seems that in all branches of industry, alternating currents, electric wave motion, will have the sway. Be alone, that is the secret of invention, be alone, that is when ideas are born. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. By an irony of fate, my first employment was as a draftsman. I hated drawing, it was for me the very worst of annoyances. Fortunately, it was not long before I secured the position I sought, that of chief electrician to the telephone company. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. Everyone should consider his body as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all a marvelous work of art, of indescribable beauty, and mystery beyond human conception, and so delicate that a word, a breath, a look, nay, a thought may injure it. From my childhood I had been intended for the clergy. This prospect hung like a dark cloud on my mind. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. I don't care that they stole my idea, I care that they don't have any of their own. I myself eschew all stimulants. I also practically abstain from meat. If the genius of invention were to reveal tomorrow the secret of immortality, of eternal beauty and youth, 
for which all humanity is aching, the same inexorable agents which prevent a mass from changing suddenly its velocity would likewise resist the force of the new knowledge until time gradually modifies human thought.